Longtime viewers will know that we like the caterpillar on this channel. We are caterpillar people. And one of the activities that we had a lot of fun with in the past was salvaging using a team of vultures to strip the hull and a caterpillar to hold all of the material collected. Well, there were some problems with that system before, like the salvage of a party member being considered stolen when it was moved to another ship. But since that time, this problem has been fixed. And furthermore, the Caterpillar now has its own ship-based tractor beams to help with things like moving cargo around. So we were setting out to test this method of salvage once again. Not on a large scale to begin with, just myself, Blaz, Chief and Zero. But at the start of the day, I'd already clocked in a lot of distance in the Caterpillar and I needed fuel, which Riker Memorial Spaceport would not give me for some reason. So I was heading for Bajini Point to fill the tanks. Let's see if I can refuel. Yes, refuel here at the um, station. Oh, cool. While I was getting hydrated, Vlaz was looking for something for us to salvage, specifically the 890 gem boarding action mission. But right now, it was nowhere to be seen. In terms of like salvage missions, I've only got like some of the lowest tier ones, you know. We did the boarding action mission just in the one time. He's the one time you really want it. It just doesn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm heading to bike attack right now. Okay, I'll jump that way as well. There are obviously other ways to find legitimate salvage and many salvage missions in the game, but we only had the lower tier rep between us right now, and so searching for one of the missions set on a big ship like an 890 Gem seemed like the better option. Microtech is another area where the boarding action mission is set. Don't have the mission here. some tomfoolery effort. Yeah. But there are other missions that will work. I'll tell you what we do have over here, which is always available and we can go and salvage, is of yeah. course the, the black hike. We can go clear that out as well. Yeah, before we salvage it. And it is, where yeah. is it? Ooh, it's a bit, it's a bit of a jump. We might not have the fuel. Okay, I'm stopping the tip and refuel. So for the second time that morning, I was stopping for fuel and the conversation turned to Star Wars as I made my way down. I mean, the guy who actually uh, wore the suit and did all this physical stuff. <laughs> David Prowse. Yeah. No, it was a Somerset accent. Oh, <laughs> join the dark side. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> And at last, we were on our way to the Black Kite. The location was one of Microtech's Lagrange clouds on what could be considered the edge of the Stanton system. We'd run salvage here before, but after arriving, we'd have some slow flying to do to reach the ship itself. Quantum dropped me 100 kilometers from the target, and from here it was regular engines only. Outside? I'm close, I'm 40 kilometers away, but like you can't. The last 100 kilometers you got to slow fly. I'm sure you could jump to me, but I'm, I'm getting close. Contact. Got contact, I've got it, yeah. The black kite. <laughs> don't have any other ships uh, nearby. The Black Kite is a mission in its own right, and while here we could complete that as well, so we'd be boarding the ship to eliminate the Nine Tails on board and to transmit some data. Um, 
Okay, I've got two down on the main deck. Obviously the bulk of them are down below. I think I'll wait for backup before, <laughs> before pushing down given that the uh, the AI seem to be a lot they do seem to be responsive. Should I check the rest of this deck to make sure that Okay. I forgot to get ammo. Well, whatever. Grab a gun off one of those dudes we just killed. Yeah. Once again we'd have a missing party marker. Wait. Who's that? Who's that there? Oh, have I not got a marker? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we had some time as we waited for Chief to arrive. 70,000. Okay, we'll wait for you. Well, while we're waiting, does someone want to go and turn the shields off? Oh, yeah. Grab this. This decryption key will allow us to break into the Ninetales servers and transmit the data to an outside receiver. Chief. With Chief now with us, we were heading for the Ninetale server room. Good. Here we go. Oh, contact on the left. Now we could complete the data transfer. The ship would also need to be destroyed to complete the mission, but that could wait until we'd stripped the hull. Okay, so now we leave it. We go and salvage the whole thing, and then we self-destruct the ship again. But we'd have one more little interruption before we could begin salvaging in earnest. Yeah, we got a contact 4.6 out. Oh, okay. Uh, there's two of them, there's two of them. Yeah, I'm going back to the pilot seat now. Okay, it's a prospector, so... Starboard impact warning. Okay. Chief, is you? Oh yeah, you're on the target, good. I had an idea of how we could maybe set this up with the catabolist tracks beam in play. Okay, if you if you guys like if you guys stay close to each other, if you're kind of close together, and I can see into the back of your cargo holds, I can probably use the track beam on the ship here to just move the boxes. Conveniently the track beam station is right down the corridor from the bridge. With the way the vultures were positioned, I was confident I'd be able to collect the salvage from both of them. Okay, don't say blast, I got you, I got your box. Oh my. <laughs> I'm about to pop out of the one. Okay. How about you, Chief? How's your student? I'm at 94. Next, I'd be moving them aboard the Caterpillar. God, the, uh, the ship based track for me definitely makes this a lot more like smooth. Yeah, I'll 
also reduces the amount of people you need for this kind of thing. So. Yeah, it also reduces like the danger, I suppose, because you can stay, at least you're on board the ship, right? So coming to attack, you just gotta like run across the corridor to the, the cockpit again. Yeah. Meanwhile, Vlaz and Chief will wishingly change their salvage modules. Probably should have put it in different uh, scrapers. I was getting ready to say the same thing. Yeah. I wonder if you could take the scrapers off of the um, oh, yeah. claimer. Good idea. Get some trawlers, you know. As I pulled another box from Blaz's vulture, Chief decided he was going to take the salvage heads from the reclaimer and fit them to his vulture. I'm testing your purposes. I'm gonna go do that. Cool. Right. Yeah. That's a good plan. My plan was to use the downtime to go and check on the cargo. Throwing them in with the cat's tractor beam means you're kind of blind to where they're being placed. But I'd find some odd behaviour going on in the cargo bay. I just sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is... Well, that's weird, okay. Some of these boxes that I've moved on board the ship, I can't move with the regular tractor beam, that's strange. Oh. Which won't... Yeah. So it's heavier? Volume exceeded. Wow. Weird. Oh, I can walk through them as well. What the hell? Like this. Oh. Okay. All of this cargo right now. All of these boxes, I can just walk through. Like, what's going on there? Maybe it's a boat with ship truck So if you pull them out of the machine, coming over, board you. So for science, I was going to try and move one with the regular tractor beam. Got the pop out of Thank you, good work. Yeah, okay, so the one. Wait, oof, no, wait, oof. Something weird's going on. I think the collision mesh on these boxes is way out of line because, like, I can collide with a box that feels like it's next to these boxes. So, if you. where you uh, found the collision mesh, if you point your tractor beam at that, does it let you pick it up? Well, it only works on one of the boxes, the one I pulled back over. Like the others, the others just seem to be incorporeal. I wanted to move the caterpillar closer to the vultures and Chief had gone aboard the reclaimer to unlock its ports. Cool. Okay, good. Maybe it's because I didn't put it on your cargo grid first. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm trying to like theorize with different ideas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. move it now that this one's been on your grid. I'm gonna move it now onto the caterpillar, and we'll see. Uh. Nope. This one lost its collision as well. I guess they're all just losing their collision as soon as they come aboard the caterpillar. So the question is, is it, a, is it a question of transferring from one grid to another, uh, so it doesn't matter the ship, or is it just specifically the Caterpillar? No, well I could try moving a box from your ship to Chief's ship. Yeah. That experiment would have to wait as Chief was returning with the salvage heads from the Reclaimer. How's your um, maintenance going, Chief? I'm getting there. <laughs> that is a baby salvage head there. Chief's plan was to make use of the trawler modules found on the reclaimer's salvage heads. Do you want me to swap these around for you, Chief? It, if you can, yes. Cool. Let's, see what we, let's see what happens. You'll have to unlock uh, your ship as well. I think he, he's got that, yeah. So I've replaced one now. Do you get any different options with it? Placing the other one. There we go. 
Okay, they've both been replaced. That's so cool. Do you have like the modules from the um does it give you the options that the um reclaimer had? I think it does. Which one? Shows on the use of trawlers. Cool, okay, excellent. Wow, that's cool. When we move the other heads so you don't you don't collide with them. Affirmative. With the salvage heads replaced, we could get back to the science. Moving a box from Chief's Vulture to Vlaz. I see a box, okay. Now I'll do a little science experiment with this one. Move it over to Vlaz's ship. Vlaz got a box as well. Okay, and in your ship they still have collision. I guess it's just the car pilot. Weird. Okay, yeah, maybe they're messing with the grid to try and jump into the two. Oh. Okay, I got it. I'm, I'm aboard right now, so. I guess the real test will be kind of, if I can stack these on top of the others, then it, I guess it means that they are actually like there. Yeah, I can, yeah. I guess they are there, they're just a, they're, their collision isn't working. Collision or no, we were getting into a pretty good rhythm after this. Left, uh, blast. Yeah, I think so. Where are you I'm pulling box from Chief right now. You good? Four will be a big year for the development of the game, sure. Yeah. Go for there were some other little oddities I chalked up to desync. You wanna get on my ship? I can see the um the hole being pulled away, but like the beams are red for me. It's just so weird. Yeah, my container's not filling. Uh, Chief was having an issue where hole was being eaten by the salvage beams, but the salvage box was not filling, and I was heading on board to investigate. It's stuck at 60. Oh. Are you currently trying to... Are you currently pulling material? Chief? It shows I was, but it's not filling the, the salvage container. Vlas had a box to be moved, so I had to return to him. So now I'm going to have a different bay on the car yeah. See if that has any uh, different effect. Yeah. It's kind of red popped up. What is that? Zero? South there? Yeah, there's a, there's a soft depth shape out there. Chief was able to start filling his salvage container again, so for now I was just waiting for the next box to be produced. Damn, you guys are really burning through that hole. Yeah, it stopped again. Once again though, Chief was not collecting material. I think you're doing engineering gameplay without even, uh, without even being in. <laughs> 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 bug. The first thing I tried was producing something from the filler station. I figured this might jumpstart it or something if it was stuck, but it came up short. Uh, I think this thing's messed up. Oh, I, I'd even change to the other one. It's still not collecting. It's not like it's empty or it's making any box. It's a, like 70% full. Uh, it's showing me now. It's 50% full. There was one of the possible explanation and I was heading to the reclaimer itself with a salvage attachment and an empty canister to find out. All that. I've gotten in and out of my seat. I've flipped a good surface. It's not collecting. Wait, this is no. I, I, okay, I'm testing it with the um, handheld right now. I'm not collecting either from here. This is this is not. It's, I'm burning a hole, but I'm not collecting. Let me try somewhere else. Yeah, if it just sits at 100%, that means it's not gonna. It's not gonna fall. I think this component maybe is like maybe bugs. Oh, yeah. yeah, they can definitely cause that problem. Yeah. yeah, it seems like this whole thick Oh, okay, yeah, it's starting to climb up right up back here. So I think it's that whole engine part section there. 
Vlad had found valid hull at the aft section of the hull and I wanted to confirm that my salvage attachment was actually working. Yep, it is quite, yeah, immediately climbing here. So some of, some parts of the hull, I think, Chief, I don't think it's your ship that's bugged. It looks like it is parts of this this reclaimer a bug. Okay, no. okay. I'm going to poke around a little bit see where we can actually... Okay, so the entire, like, like the rear section, like you've got an, a pristine side of it, obviously, and that is all that looks good. Um, yeah. Yeah, the engines, so the engine covers look good. Rear engine size, um, the front legs, I think, are where the, pro the problem is right now. Yep, yep. So what it appeared to be was that the front engines, and really a lot of the front end of the ship, would produce no actual salvage when stripped. Now that we knew it, I was returning to Vlaz to collect boxes. Who's just finished a box? Vlaz. Maybe they'll be doing that pretty soon. <laughs> Every type of tractor beam seemed to cause the collision issues with the cargo on board the caterpillar, so I figured going back to using the onboard beam was best. Seeing as they, they're ending up kind of bugged either way. Might as well use the track beam on board the Kappa. Yeah. It is an option. Anyone blocked up? Uh, not yet. Nope, I'm good. They're okay, good, aren't they? Yeah, I'm trying to position my ships again. The Vulture now gets three boxes built up, oh, is that right? That's cool. Oh no, I moved those. Oh, I see, okay. If you communicate with your vulture pilots, you can actually very easily collect from them, even when they are spread out over a wider area. Yeah, I got one box waiting. You're to the right a little bit. Got it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got it. So Chief just rejected a box. Chief, you, you're to the left a little. down a little bit. Got it. How about you, Vlaz? How's your bay doing? Yeah, I got one. The track to me makes this, like, thunk noise when you grab something. That's kind of cool. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it sounds like. It sounds like... It sounds like that last little bit when you close the filing cabinet and you get that last little bit, you know? It's like... There's just that... uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, got it, got it, thank you, good work. We've got this down to a science now. The collections would continue for a while, but we all knew that the front end of the ship was currently not returning hull, but maybe not out of reach completely. So the, the question I have is, uh, after we blow it up, can we scrape the front part at that point? Like, or is it just bugged after it breaks up, you know? That, that's, a, that's an interesting question, actually, yeah. That's worth looking at. For sure. Injecting. You got it. I can see yours already. Thanks, Chief. After a few collections, I didn't need to prompt Vlaz or Chief on how to turn. They were just doing it of their own volition. Not that much to scrape on the top here, it seems. Hmm. 
I'm going to reposition. Vlad's had moved and so I needed to reposition. But I'd forgotten the position of the tractor beam on my first attempt. Actually, I'm not positioned very well right here at all. Looks like I keep forgetting that the tractor beam is below the wing. So it's like if you're above me. There, maybe. Here that are doing the same thing as the um, as the as the front of the ship was doing. Yeah. Watching over the salvaging from the observation room was a very cool experience. Got it. Oh, thanks. I was just gonna check. So. <laughs> They've updated the effects on the tractor beams as well, and they look so much better. The vehicle tractor beams there. Now we are getting into a rhythm, yeah, this is... This is a lot better. But just as we were getting the rhythm down, the available material was running out. Okay, keeps turning. I got it. I think we're, I think we're kind of done with this top. Everything else looks like it's... Okay, I guess uh, destroying the ship and seeing if we can salvage the front, maybe? Maybe it's time? Yeah, I'm going with that. Chief, you got any more? <laughs> I'm not on the beam at the moment. I chucked a few of those in, and I want to see if they are actually... what their condition is. There were two boxes I could move manually. I am not sure why. This one's like could I could actually move. It was time to destroy the reclaimer. Okay, I guess maybe we give it some uh, some light. Yeah, just target the back, I think. Oh. Well, there we go. I answered our question. <laughs> Got a bunch of salvage to sell. All in all, that was a, a successful run. So we didn't get any more from the wreck as the wreck vanished. But we could return to civilization and sell what we had. Where are we thinking about going? To uh, Ark? It's a good question. Where have I got the fuel to get to? Can I make it to Ark? Yes. Here we go. Yeah. In Area 18, we would head straight for the Trade Division, and we were curious how the game now handles cargo from a party member. Okay, so here's this is interesting. Okay, so we have this two SCU of recycled composite material that is um, that is like green, that is just normal, and it's 15k. Confirm. And then there's 35 SCU. That's owned by party members. I want to see if I can still. I can still sell it. Yeah. Okay. Two hundred sixty-nine and fifteen. So that's two hundred and eighty-four thousand. Why is it that you had two that you were owned by you? I don't know. That's, that's so weird. Maybe it's because I pulled yeah. them. Maybe two of them I pulled out of, as they were coming out of the machine. I grabbed them straight away. I don't know. I think it's really, it's really strange. 
so I would divvy up the profits among our party and we'd been pretty pleased with the efficiency and fun of salvaging this way. Probably not as efficient as a reclaimer, but let's be honest, which is cooler, a reclaimer out there by itself or a swarm of vultures around a caterpillar. We have plans to revisit this on a larger scale in the near future to see how it stacks up and I am always looking forward to an opportunity to take the caterpillar out for the day. Maybe next time we'll see even more lucrative targets as well. Thanks to COG, we have a Star Citizen game package complete with the all-new Crusader C1 Spirit and lifetime insurance to give away to one lucky viewer. For your chance to win, just hit the like button on this video and leave a comment below and we'll pick a winner in the next couple of days. Good luck to everyone and a huge thank you to CIG. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. Patron support is what allows this channel to keep going and I just want to thank each and every one of you for helping me to get these videos out several times a week. And and in this video, I would especially like to thank Logan Shaw, Gali, Jan, and Jaeger Goth, who all recently became backers of the channel. Thank you all for choosing to support the channel. That is a huge boost to our support, and I cannot thank you enough. You guys are amazing, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.